JP Morgan's view is actually uh, oil prices or Brent will actually recover towards year end. We're forecasting $112 by year end and we actually think we're in a higher oil price environment over the next few years. JP Morgan forecast $115 Brent next year and $120 in 2016. And there's no doubt that the uh, North American liquids output growth has been a success story. We're forecasting around 1.3 million barrels per day additional this year. Um, the issue is in the medium term, decline rates will see that growth moderate, we think, to half of what the growth is uh, this year by 2016, um, which will put actually a little bit more uh, supply pressure on the market in the coming years. Well, it, it's true that China, we've seen a moderation of oil demand growth. Indeed, year to date, uh, Chinese oil demand is down 1% year on year. Having said that, gasoline uh, remains a strong point. Uh, we've seen gasoline, oil, uh, gasoline demand growth around double digits for most of the year. Uh, and diesel surprised us by being up 5% year on year in June. So perhaps we're starting to see some kind of tentative recovery uh, in the second half of um, this year. I think more of the moderation reflects the moderation in economic growth rather than wholesale switching um, for natural gas and transportation, etc. Yeah, I think the geopolitical uh, risks are certainly around supply and further reinvestment to certain oil areas. Um, EU and US sanctions on Russia can only sort of limit oil output out of that country. Um, the geopolitical issues we're seeing in Iraq may also limit long-term investment uh, in that country. Indeed, JP Morgan's recent oil update, we uh, slashed our Iraqi oil production forecast by almost a million barrels per day as of next year. So we're essentially not forecasting any oil supply uh, growth um, from Iraq, one of the key or five, fifth largest pr producing region, um, more longer term. Libya is another example where, you know, one uh, or the market in, has anticipated sort of a recovery in oil barrels, oil production from that country, yet we haven't really seen that over the last uh, few months.